of life is a big issue for patients with tumors of the brain. We have not necessarily expanded life in terms of years and years like we have with other cancers, but I think we've been able to better diagnose the type of tumor to give the surgeon a better idea of what sort of outcomes in terms of quality of life. If a tumor is not well uh, understood, a diagnosis, surgery might be offered, and that would remove part of the brain that might result in a patient's inability to speak or inability to move. And with our imaging techniques, we're better able to look at the relationship of the tumor to speech, for example, or to motor movement, and we might recommend that the patient receive uh, radiation therapy. And that might have the same outcome, but have a much better quality of life. And so that has been one of the advantages, uh, is to recommend alternative treatments with the use of energy. We want to be able to more accurately uh, look at the aggressiveness of tumors, that is, how rapidly they're likely to grow. And we're looking at different tools to explore that. For example, how are the blood vessels feeding the tumor? Um, tumors that are more aggressive, more malignant, and tend to kill patients more rapidly, tend to bring in more blood vessels as they are hungry for blood. We are looking at drugs that will stop that. And so being able to image more accurately this type of blood vessel growth could be very important to future therapy.